Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm joined in studio by Scott Spreitzer and Brian Leonard, and of course, I'm Marco D'Angelo. And Scott, this is going to be your video best bet. And you're looking at the East Carolina Florida game this week. And, you know, you look at the scores from last week and you see that score of Florida 61 to 13, and like, wow, the Gators are back. And normally, off of a big win like that, Sometimes I would think, okay, well, are they going to have a little bit of a letdown after such a blowout opening week? But these two teams met not too long ago, and I'll let you set it up. They met, uh, this will be the second time in the 2015 calendar year that they've <laughs> actually played each other because they met in that bowl game last year, won by Florida 28-20. to 20. However, if you just saw the box score, didn't see the actual score, you would think that East Carolina won by probably double digits. They, they all gained them pretty good. But things have changed in Gainesville. And I'm not ready to say this team's going to win the SEC. I'm not even going to come close to that. But I don't think there's going to be a letdown with McElwain in town. There's a new sheriff in town. He's an offensive-minded coach. If Will Muschamp's team puts up 61 against New Mexico State, Marco, mm -hmm. you know, when he was there, I think, yeah, there's probably going to be a letdown. They might be scoring 13 the next week. McElwain knows a thing or two about a thing or two about an offense in college football. And I think he's going to have this team playing well all season long, at least relatively speaking, better than the last couple of years we've seen on offense. I like the fact that he's got a couple of the quarterbacks who can run kind of a pro style, but also a pistol type of hybrid offense that they're going to throw at other teams. And the one thing, Brian, that I've seen this week by people who are writing up East Carolina, don't get me wrong, I know East Carolina could cover this number, but they keep talking about don't forget how this Gator offense struggles the last few years. And they talk about that over and over. Don't forget about the yardage East Carolina piled up against Florida in the bowl game. Shane Carden is gone. He was a very good quarterback for this football team. And when you look at Florida, I just gave all those reasons. This is a different offensive look than we saw under a great defensive coach of Will Muschamp, but not much of an offensive mind. Yeah, in fact, you stole my thunder there with Carden. <laughs> They're down to th actually their second string You're quarterback right. for this year. The first string got hurt last yeah. game. Um, I know the coach has been very good at the road dog roll, but uh, this is a situation Florida's just got a lot more talent, and now they finally have some coaching. And we see this every year with the USC. USC's get the best talent in the nation. They don't have the coaching. Florida's there. I do have to warn everybody, though, Florida won their first game big last year, too, yeah. and then they fell on their faces as the season went on, but I think this is a much better Florida team. Throw one more thing in there you, about the quarterback being gone. Didn't mention, too, he's got two wide receivers from this team last year that are in the NFL. Right. You know, so I mean, take the quarterback, take, you know, who's going who's gonna to throw it, who's going to catch it. Yeah, this is not the same East Carolina team. I don't think they can trade points and go up and down the field like they did last year in a lot of their games. Well, and, and Kurt Binkert, I think is his name, the quarterback, so. who's going to be the starter for East Carolina this year, taking over for Carden. As Brian mentioned, he got knocked out. He was knocked out in August. And so the guy that's now taking over a quarterback without a couple of great wide receivers, it would be third string if Binkert was healthy and if Carden was still there. And, you know, again, can East Carolina cover a three touchdown point spread? Of course, but I don't think they will in this one. I think McElwain keeps the pedal to the metal, keeps this offense focused. And even though you can say East Carolina's in revenge, I think he's going to point out how badly they were beaten yardage wise last year in the bowl game. Yeah, when you're a big favorite like that and you escape with a, you know, a one score margin, you're going to take them serious the next year. All right, Scott, this is your best bet. You say to go ahead, take Florida, lay the points. Uh, you also got a big play this weekend. Tell the listeners real quick about it. Yeah, this is the first 5% main event that I've released at Wager Talk, first one of this season. It's a Saturday game, a Saturday evening game. And uh, these plays, we, we brought these to the betting sports betting world in 1995, the main events, and we've used them ever since. And we only release about 9 to 11 per college football season. We've actually had a couple of seasons where we ran the board. We had a 10-0-1 season. We had a 9-0 season another year. This is the first, and again, we average about 9 to 11, so you'll want to jump on this one. But it's a favorite. It's a Saturday night game, and we like it to win by a wide margin. All right. Well, I'll be waiting to hear that one. Might have a few dollars on it there, <laughs> sir. And I just want to give you another plug, too. CFL. You've just been outstanding with your uh, Canadian football play. 80 and 49, our last 129 in the CFL. We finally lost our winning streak. We had a six game win streak. We lost. We were six and one now at Wager Talk, but 80 and 49, the last 129. I didn't, even, I didn't even tell him that I was going to pimp Why didn't his, uh, tell his us about Canadian this 129 play. plays ago. Yeah, I've yeah. been telling him, you know <laughs> yeah. what I always get? Yeah. Oh, shoot, I forgot that game's an afternoon <laughs> game. So I text back, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. nice guy. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, check out all of our videos at wagertalk.com. You can get everything we did for the weekend and just check the video podcast section. We've got some podcasts up there as well each week. We'll be back with more here at wagertalk.com.